All right, we'll start first question today with Sean Cunningham. Hey, Luke, how's it going, man? Good, Sean. You? I'm good. I'm good. Um, just when you look at, obviously, you haven't had many practice days, um, and it comes at a really good time for you. Just what are some of the things uh, you guys kind of focused on to try to cure some ills here? Yeah, we kind of um, comboed a, a, a little bit of, of half practice, half shoot around for the, the game tomorrow, covering some of the sets that, that Dallas is running, and then, you know, getting some five on O in uh, with, with the guys um, that uh, that haven't been that haven't been here all season. So uh, it was nice to get a little a little court time today. But um, you know, we, we moving forward, we have to. We did a lot looking into the. The, the Phoenix game, like we did a lot of things really well. Um, and then we, you know, it, it came down to the, the little things, um, defensive mistakes, communications, uh, not finishing possessions off on the defensive glass. So, uh, and, and Phoenix is a really good team. Uh, they, they space you. They got, you know, two go-to guys. And then they got a big man that's, uh, uh, you know, having a really nice year for them. So uh, we, we, we have to do a better job of taking care of that stuff. So we watched, uh, we watched some of the film on that as well. Uh, before we got started in practice today. And, and in a season like this, can just one practice day go like a little thing go a long way for a team? We hope so. It has before. Um, and, um, you know, we know that, like, you know, it's it, the, 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 the fine line between winning and losing in this league is, um, you know, it is where, where we're at with, um, you know, we're, we're playing, we're doing a lot of things well. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, we're not we're not finishing it off with wins right now. So, uh, hopefully, a practice day can help clean some of the some of that stuff up and, and continue to push us in the right direction. Next, we'll go to James Ham. Luke, if it does uh, sort of stay like the way that it's trending, the way it has been in the last couple of games, well, the last nine, um, is there going to be a point where you do start turning to some of the younger guys to see what you got there hiding on the bench? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's part of what we're, we're trying to see what we have right now and not just with the younger guys. That's clearly, um, you know, part of part of them. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll have a lot of decisions uh, to make going into the offseason. And, you know, we've added some new pieces that we're continuing to try to see. Um, you know, uh, you know, Chris Silver came over in that trade. I've tried to get him in a couple different times. Haven't really had that chance yet. So I'm still very interested to see. Uh, you know, him out there on the court and, and hopefully bringing us some toughness and some defensive rebounding that we desperately need um, right now. So, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're, you know, as we continue to go, it's, you know, nothing set, you know, it, it, the way that the games are going right now, there's nothing set in stone. It's we're, we're looking for guys and we're continuing to evaluate. James, do you have a follow-up? Yeah, Sean, just to add. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. We'll go next to Tony Harvey. Uh, yeah, Coach Walton, I just really have one question. And it, once again, it's about the starts. Uh, it, well, Damian Jones, thing, don't, don't worry about that. But, uh, of course, we talked to the players a couple uh, after the game. Just want to uh, get your assessment on that. If you did say things about defensive toughness, would that be a – a better way to start these games so you don't fall into these holes where you you know you have to climb out and you you know you just playing catch up throughout the game with the yeah. defense have to dictate what happens in, at the tip off. It, it should help. It, defense is where you can kind of find that consistency, of, you know, because offensively there's going to be, you know, the, it, it's harder. The, the consistency part is harder because there's some night you're you're getting good shots and they're just not going in. Um, and the defense is kind of what you can hang your hat on. Unfortunately, we we've been struggling to stop people, and that starts with you know guarding our man and guarding the ball, and then um, you know finishing possessions with rebounds. Games that we win, we rebound the ball pretty well. Games we lose, we really struggle to rebound. So, um, but you know, the, the, it, it's it's you know it's not always the start either. You know, you look at the Utah game; we got off to a great start. But by the end of the first and we got into the rotations and into the into the meat of the game, then it was, you know, they they scored 30 something in the first quarter after we were, got out to a 12, 3, 12, 1 lead, something like that. So, um, you know, it's kind of back and forth with some of that stuff. But, yeah, it would be much easier for ourselves if we weren't digging ourselves out of holes in a, a lot of these first quarters. And, and the way to do that is 
starting a game with a defensive intensity and focus level uh, where other teams aren't, aren't getting easy, easy rhythm shots. Next question from Jason Anderson. Hey, Luke, how are you doing today, sir? Good, Jason. Good. Um, you said the other day Marvin is, is not close to being able to play. I'm wondering after you've had him a couple days, is there kind of any update or timeline? Um, and are you are you confident that he will be able to play at some point? Yeah, I mean, we're he, he looks he, he looks good as far as you can tell. He's been, uh, you know, working out and running. Um, you know, we, our, our strength team pushed him pretty hard on the on the side court today at practice. And we're, we're very impressed with his you know, where his, he was from a conditioning standpoint. But no timeline on when he'll start to play again. And, you know, clearly we're not going to uh, rush uh, rushing back with where we're at into the season right now um, until he's, uh, you know, uh, he's got a lot of steps to go through before we even talk about playing again. All right, next question to Jason Jones. Hey, Luke, how you doing? Good, Jason. Yeah, just in terms of the team's overall confidence and building for the future, just how important is it just for these next uh, – 15, 18 games, to just put together a good stretch of solid play to, and seeing that improvement that you want to see, especially on the defensive end going into next season. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's big and it's, you know, we, it's been a really funky season for us as far as we've had those stretches multiple times this year. And then we've had the exact opposite uh, multiple times, which is where we're at right now. So, um, you know, look, we, we, we all, we all want to win. Um, and I think that, you know, the guys are, are are playing hard and we know that that's, you know, that's what it, it comes down to a lot of times. But um, what we need to make sure is whether, you know, however these next 18 play out, it's we're doing things better and certain guys are improving and understanding, um, you know, even in the Phoenix game, like I thought Ty made a really – uh, he made some nice progress as far as his his off ball defense and in, in helping out on drivers, getting back to his own. Um, he continues to uh, to slowly get better at getting into the ball and getting around screens. So, like little things like that are really important that we keep pushing and showing uh, and understanding uh, because that's what's going to make us good as a team as we move forward. Um, so yeah, the, these these are very valuable games to us um, and our future. All right, uh, if we could ask for one question each, uh, moving forward, and then we'll move along. Uh, we'll go to Scott Marsh next. Thanks, uh, Coach. You address kind of the defensive rebounding and how tough it's been at times. I'm just curious. Uh, late in the game against Phoenix, the decision to, to kind of go small there. I know, obviously, not having Rashawn really hurt, but you know, the thought maybe to put Hassan back in or possibly Damian late in the game. Yeah, well, you know, we, we went back to Hassan for a little bit there in the fourth. And, you know, they they still uh, they still offensive rebounded on us. And, um, you know, we, we've had a pretty consistent core closing group. And without Sean, Rashawn, Rashawn out there, uh, that has clearly changed. So it, it was more based on we knew like look, Chris Paul is maybe the best closer in the game and he's going to manipulate situations and um and get the type of shots for people he wants um and the decision was made behind the idea of like you know we go harrison at the five we can switch everything at least keep bodies in front when you give chris paul angles uh you better be a very good defensive team to be able to to contain those angles get out to shooters uh and get stops so uh, it was more of a you know, from an offensive standpoint, we get Harrison at the five, you know, more space for De'Aaron. And on a defensive standpoint uh, where we've struggled, uh, let's switch one through five so we can keep bodies in front of bodies um, is where that came from. Last question for Coach James Hamm. Yeah, Luke, I asked the one question about maybe letting some of the younger guys play, but is there a possibility with the streak hitting nine games that you leave most of your core out there and just try to – tighten down your lineup, your roster as much as possible, your rotation? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we've done that uh, this year a few times, and it's it's been good for us. Um, you know, I mean, I played Harrison and De'Aaron both 40 minutes pretty much in those back to that last back-to-back. -back. So, look, we're, we're, we're leaving our guys out there that, um, you know, that, that, that are – 
you know, proven uh, here that they, they can they can win games for us. So that's still the, the, the uh, what we're looking to do. Um, but, you know, some of those rotations are getting different with, you know, Rashawn being out now and with the trade still trying to get a feel for what groupings are best together. So that's where you'll see more uh, of the um, – more of the adjustments coming, James. But yeah, we're Harrison, you know, Buddy, De'Aaron, Tyree. These guys are all going to keep playing big minutes. 